Hi everyone. So uh, the title of my talk is uh, how G conference is impacting school education. So uh, before starting, uh, something about myself. Uh, I am basically a Python backend developer uh, at Innovisor India, and uh, basically the main stack, uh, my field of expertise is Python, Django, MongoDB, and Elasticsearch. And I am also a contributor at KDE. So uh, what is KDE? Okay, so KD is an international free software community that basically helps in maintaining and developing different open source uh, projects. So its more, uh, most popular project is uh, the Plasma Desktop. So what is Plasma Desktop? The Plasma Desktop uh, is basically the default desktop environment which you will find on many Linux distributions like uh, Kubuntu and OpenSUSE. So uh, the other popular projects uh, of KD are Krita and BGCamp. So the Krita and Digicam are basically open source software for editing different images and for basically designing digital paintings. So now what is KDE uh, EDU? So the KDE Education Project uh, is a branch of KDE that basically helps in maintaining development of different open source software in the field of education. So they have different projects. G Compress is one of the projects and there are different other projects like Candor, Marble etc. For example, uh, Marble is a uh, Google Map type of thing, but it is open source. So now, what is G-Compress? So G-Compress is a high quality educational software that basically focuses on small students uh, in the age of 2 to 10. So uh, G-Compress consists of different activities. So here each activity is like a small game. So the whole software consists of different activities. Each activity is a small game. The activity can be of different type. For example, there are activities like uh, for small children like identify uh, letters, identify different colors, identify different shapes. So basically it helps students uh, to learn and uh, enhance their uh, knowledge and their skills, intellectual skills uh, via different graphics and visuals. So G Compress can uh, contain variety of activities belonging to different domains like from uh, simple mathematical operation, arithmetic operation, from science to geography and even simple coordination games like uh, clicking the mouse button in the right direction and all. So the project was started by a French guy known as Bruno Cordin. So mainly the project is being used in different schools across Europe, mainly France and Germany. And nowadays it is also being uh, basically popular, becoming popular in different parts of other countries. So the platform uh, the, uh, which is supported by G Compress, there are multiple platforms. For example, you will find different uh, Linux, uh, you will find support for different Linux distribution. You can run the software on Ubuntu, on OpenSUSE and all. Even you will find an Android app for it. You can download from it uh, on the Play Store. There uh, is support for Mac OS, there is a support for Windows and even they have support for Raspberry Pi. So, um, Talking about the uh, tech stack of G Compress, for example, if a student has to contribute or some developer want to contribute to the project, so what is the tech stack? So the main ID here uh, is the Qt creator. The main code base uh, is mainly consists of QML, JavaScript, and C++. Uh, QML is basically used for writing the front end part, and the JS is used for writing the logical part, the back end part. And uh, the workboard uh, we use at G Compress is Fabricator that basically helps. Uh, in monitoring what uh, kind of uh, activity is going on across the project. And for version control system, we use Git and GitHub. Uh, so, uh, the tech stack, uh, as I've already told you, QML is used for writing the user interface. Just for example, if you guys know Android, so in Android, uh, if, you write, if you want to first uh, basically design the front end, you need XML. So here you need QML. QML is a user interface markup language. It is just like JSON structure uh, decorative language used for designing user interface. So uh, the main backend logic is written in JavaScript. For example, you design a button in QML. And uh, upon clicking on that button, what will what the logic uh, should happen? Uh, it is basically written in JavaScript. So uh, the fabricator is uh, used for maintaining all this stuff. And uh, the make tool is used for basically building and compiling all the software after you're done with the coding and all. So places where G Compress is being used nowadays, as I told you, it is mainly used in France and Germany in, uh, schools. Uh, it is also nowadays being used in India, in some parts of India, which is a very good sign as G Compress is becoming more and more popular. You can find the software in uh, multiple schools across the world. So overall, the project is gaining quite popularity. 
So in case you want to contribute to G-Compress or know what it is, uh, you can check their website and uh, considering different domains, for example, if you are into coding stuff, you can contribute by introducing yourself on the mailing list, forking the GitHub repo and basically claiming your activity. You, you can even pr propose that I want to build such kind of activity that basically will help the small children to do or to learn something new. So you can propose that and you can uh, uh, basically learn the tech stack, the QML and the JS part and you can basically raise a PR uh, to the uh, appropriate mentors. And even uh, you can, if you're not into coding stuff and technical stuff, even you can help in translation. For example, since the project is being used worldwide, you need different languages. So you can basically help in the translation of activities. And uh, you can also basically help by uh, blogging and tweeting about it. Even if you're in design part, you can handle the data set handling part, the IO guidelines, you can, if you're good in designing and all, you can design different logos for the activity, if you're uh, into Photoshop and designing part. Even uh, if you want to uh, raise awareness about it, you can uh, conduct small seminars or skits uh, in your local community, so it will be helpful for the overall project to gain uh, some popularity. Uh, this is it. Uh, any questions? We do a demo. Okay, we can have the demo. Uh, yeah. uh, so how many languages have GCOMP is being translated into? There are many languages. There are around 23 languages, 23 different European languages. Uh, mainly it's French and German. Yes. How much of it is in English? Uh, English, yes, English is also a popular language. Yeah. So the main activities, there are around uh, more than 100 activities, 100 different games. So mainly all the activities are in French, German and English. And for uh, considering the other languages, uh, there is not support for all the activities. But uh, as, uh, the time, as the more and more community is involved, uh, there is uh, 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 more translation going on. So for demo purpose, uh, uh, actually this is my office laptop, so uh, I cannot uh, basically build the software or recompile it in, in this laptop, uh, but basically uh, I can show you uh, the website and all, how you can get engaged. Excuse me. What's the uh, uh, hotspot name? Do you, are you, uh, do you have the Wi-Fi adapter set up? No, not yet. No, the adapter is there, but the username is not showing up there. Uh, Only bulk stuff is showing. Maybe I can restart it. the network here.
the website if you want to get more involved into this so here's the website and this is uh, sort of a, a screenshots of how the application looks so applications huh, so there are different activities for example there are different type of categories let's say uh, there are some categories uh, for normal simple games to enhance uh, the intellectual skills uh, of the students so there are some small games like football game the maze mining for gold etc. There are some linguistic related games like uh, uh, finding different alphabets, writing different al alphabets etc. So uh, here is a list of all the activities that are present in GCompress. If you want, if you want to check out uh, how the activities are uh, basically, uh, what, are, what is the concept behind the activity, you can check uh, all this here. So there are simple activities like simple letters, here the different letters will pop up in front of the screen and the uh, student has to just press that uh, uh, button on the keyboard. Similarly, there are uh, word related uh, games, also there are some drawing games, uh, some click on games, uh, etc. So this is the website. and. Uh, if you want to contribute here, uh, you will go to this section and uh, basically get going. And even if we can have a demo. So this is one of the video. This is a demo of a normal game uh, in which the student has to basically discover different computer parts. So it, it helps the student, uh, for example, the student I think learn more uh, when he or she is interacting uh, uh, with these kind of activities as compared to uh, reading and writing the normal textbooks. So this enhances the uh, learning ability of the student. Okay. Uh, so this is it, any more questions? Okay. Thank you. Just a minute.